Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to stage C. It's my pleasure to present talking about the internet or the security of the internet of things. Jose Diaz. Okay, so um, this is my GitHub profile. Um, I'm officially a software guy uh, because that's what I study, basically, computer science. But um, I'm quite interested in the security side of things. And uh, recently I got interested in, in this particular type of research because I saw somebody on Twitter um, posting screenshots of stuff they found on um, unauthenticated PNC servers on the internet. So I decided to do something similar. And uh, well, the first thing uh, that I would like to talk about is uh, about the morality or whether it's legal or moral for somebody to scan the internet looking for um, open service on the internet, basically. And my, my view on this, well, I mean, um, I've talked to people about this and they've said, oh, well, uh, just because it's open, you shouldn't be uh, looking at it. Or um, it's like seeing a car with the door open and just stealing it. And I think that's, I mean, that, there's something very wrong with that metaphor. And I th I'm, I'm sure you can see the many levels of wrongness that it, it has. But um, how I see it is this, it's basically like uh, having a very large telescope in your home and um, if people, I mean, it's like if people leave their doors open at home and you can, you, you have a very large telescope and you can look, uh, look at their houses without actually uh, going into the houses from your home. That's, uh, that's similar to what I think I'm doing. Uh, so, okay, so let's talk about the things I'm going to show you. So, when you scan the whole internet for open servers with, uh, with well, uh, the remote firm protocol, you find very, very disturbing things. And I've decided not to show you some of the most uh, extreme things I found because like, I've seen actual hospitals with actual patient data uh, on open servers on the internet that anyone can access. And so, you know, I mean, I can't really in good faith uh, show any of that, but I'll, I can show some of the other stuff that I found, which I think is pretty funny or disturbing, depends on how you see it. So, yeah, um, I built uh, a web interface to, uh, well, basically, uh, I'm not sure if you can read that, but uh, I've got um, a top bar with uh, all of the um, countries I've scanned. And you can see some of the screenshots here. So, for example, well, I mean, uh, this is, uh, I think this is Switzerland. And I can't really read Swiss, but uh, yeah, that looks uh, important. Uh, <laughs> uh, and, I mean, you can probably modify any of the parameters here and cause disruption of some description. And well, um, something else I should mention, um, all of this scanning was automated, so nobody actually connected to the server and controlled it. So uh, the way I did it was, um, has anyone heard of CMAP? Okay, well, it's basically a, an internet scanning tool that can scan the whole internet, the whole IPv4 um, address space in six minutes, I think which is pretty fast. And uh, what I did is I scanned the whole internet for um, servers with the port 5900 open, which is uh, the VNC port. And then after that, when I had a list of servers with uh, VNC open, I had a small program that basically con con connected to it, grabbed a screenshot and disconnected. So nobody actually uh, went into the servers and took a screenshot, it was just completely automated which I think is uh, worth mentioning because that's probably very illegal to um, actually gain access to a computer. So uh, what I'm trying to say is that I didn't actually gain access to any of these computers. I just uh, took a screenshot of them, if that makes any sense. So yeah, let's uh, look at some other screenshots. Uh, I mean, again, I don't really know what this means, but you know, it looks interesting or potentially uh, harmful if uh, placed in the wrong hands. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I think this is a this is a fridge. Uh, well, you can't really see that, but whatever. Um, there was a quite interesting thing in Italy. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, that one. Uh, it looks like a silo of some description with, I don't know, probably uh, animal waste or, I don't know. But, you know, um, if you take a look at the buttons, you can see a alarm button there or a reset button which I'm guessing probably uh, won't do any good to anyone uh, if you press them when you, when you shouldn't be. Um, 
let's see if we can find something else. Oh yeah, um, there's also lots of webcams, uh, well, uh, surveillance systems on the internet, lots of them. Uh, I've seen surveillance systems of uh, museums, I've seen surveillance systems of banks, if you can believe that. Uh, I've actually, well, yeah, let's just, just uh, keep looking. Uh, let's see. Well, yeah, uh, lots of desktop as well, as, uh, lots of desktops. Oh, okay, yeah. This is a, oh, well, that's a tiny screenshot. Uh, this is a home automation system. Um, and I've looked it up, actually. And, uh, you know, the characteristic it, it mentioned on the website, you can probably uh, turn off, like, the, the heating to, to the house and so on. Um, it also has a, an energy uh, monitor. So um, I'm guessing you could probably turn off energy to that house if you wanted. I mean, again, I didn't do any of this. I'm just um, speculating about the kind of stuff you could do if you, if you were um, uh, evil or, I guess, if you wanted to do harm. Uh, let's see. So uh, this is Mexico. And uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Um, lots of points of sales. So uh, <laughs> I'm not sure why this is on the internet, but... Uh, you can, this is a point of sale um, terminal. So somebody's using it and you know, you can potentially uh, add stuff to other people's uh, purchases and so on. Which is, I mean, to be honest, I have no idea what this is on the internet, but yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, okay. Uh, so this is a transport agency uh, in Mexico. And yeah. Uh, this is the inter well. I, I don't think you can read that, but this is on on the internet, and it's um, a transport agency like UPS or DHL or something like that. And yeah, again, this is completely open to anyone on the internet scanning it and connecting to it. Uh, right. Well, yeah, whatever. Um, some of the more juicy stuff um, I found in the United States, for example. Uh, this is a flow meter for, um, I would suppose, um, some kind of large-scale plant. Um, I looked up this particular model on, online, and uh, I'm not sure if you can see these four pump one, pump two, pump three, pump four buttons, but you can actually deactivate pumps uh, just by pressing them. So again, anyone without authentication can connect to the server, press the four uh, pump buttons and disable them, and without anyone uh, noticing or without you leaving a trail or whatever. So yeah, that's kind of that's kind of bad. Uh, but what's worse is something else I found. Uh, yeah, this one. Uh, I'm not sure what this is, but it has lots of parts <laughs> and lots of buttons as well. Uh, it's it says bio energy, so I'm assuming it's generating energy uh, somehow and. This is the control panel, so you can see here, uh, you can see start, stop, enable, disable, um, all this kind of stuff that you can potentially click and cause havoc um, far away from you. Uh, this is another home automation system. Uh, and I particularly like this one because you can see uh, animal stats, and I'm not sure why that is. Uh, why would you have a home automation system with uh, animal stats? I don't know. But I, th I thought that was fun. Um, and yeah, you can also see curtains uh, right there, which is quite interesting. Um, uh, let's see. Lots of window servers. Uh, people watching Netflix, which I thought was pretty funny. Uh, um, another flow meter. And you can, in this one, in this case, you can clearly see it's a large scale thing. Just look at all the gallons. It's, um, it's no, it's used. Uh, let's take a look at Russia. That's always fun. Um, I'm not sure what this is, uh, this particular one. I, I tried to look it up. And the closest thing I could find is some kind of hotel uh, control system, uh, which fortunately it's protected by um, a login prompt, which is good, I guess, but <laughs> still should, probably shouldn't be on the internet. Um, let's see something else. Uh, let's see, lots of window servers. Yeah, well, okay, uh, you didn't see that. That's probably not safe for work. <laughs> um, 
this is another home automation system. It's in Russian, but uh, and you can't really see it on, on the screen, but uh, there's a button for cams. So um, there's potentially somebody at home having cameras on their home, and you can see them on the internet because it's, um, you know, uh, it's really open to anyone. Uh, let's take a look at Romania. Oh, that's fun. Um, yeah, this is a restaurant management system. And you can see, uh, well, yeah, you can see, you can see which tables are open and which tables are used and so on. Um, you know, more people watching porn. Uh, that's fun. Um, let's see, what's this? Um, I have no idea what that is, but it looks like a spreadsheet of some description. Uh, yeah, you know. Uh, let's take a look at the sale. Uh, what's this? Uh, looks like some kind of university access system. Uh, yeah, it looks like it, you could possibly uh, change um, teacher status and so on. Uh, some more Windows servers. Uh, oh, I particularly like this one because uh, this is probably a screensaver uh, and you can't really see it, but it's made in paint. So I thought that was fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's take a look at something else. Let's see, oh, people playing Candy Crush. That's also fun. Uh, people watching YouTube and you know, you can, you can find lots of people doing normal stuff on their computers, uh, and without them being, without them noticing that they have a VNC server running. Um, I think, based on the stuff I've seen, that um, that there's some kind of distribution of Linux or some some sort of pre-built Windows or something that has a VNC server on by default, because I've seen lots of people who were like. You know, just man your own business and without noticing they have a VNC server on. So uh, let's let's take a look at this. Uh, it well that that one says uh, enterprise control system. So you can you, know, you can you can draw your own conclusions there. Uh, this is another um, surveillance system. Uh, looks like it's a surveillance system for an office. more people watching Facebook and so on. Uh, let's take a look at Spain, which is my, um, my own country. <laughs> oh, we found lots of this, actually. Um, I'm not entirely sure what this is, but it looks like it's um, the info displays so of a train system. Um, we did find lots and lots of these, so it looks like there's a network of trains or buses or something like that that's connected to the internet. Uh, yeah. So you, know, you find lots of quite interesting stuff on the internet and stuff that you wouldn't necessarily expect. I mean, you were kind of expecting to find stuff like power plants, coal plants and so on, at least I was. But then uh, you see people watching Netflix and you didn't really expect that, at least I didn't. Uh, oh yeah, uh, this one was quite interesting. Uh, I'm not sure what it, what it is. Uh, it looks like some kind of fiber optic testing uh, it talks about wavelengths and so on, so... Yeah, and people just minding their own business. This is another home automation system, like the one we saw in Russia. And in this case, you can actually see the, um, the video button here. So, yeah. Uh, let's take a look at the United States again. Um, this is the first half of the address space of the United States. Uh, the other one I showed you was the lower half. Um, oh yeah, this is fun. Uh, this is a sewage drainage, drainage system, uh, which is on the internet. And you know, uh, there's, a, there's a label here said, uh, that says dosing pump manual speed. So I, I would guess that you could control that and you know, make shit happen, literally. <laughs> oh, um, I, also find, uh, I also find lots of uh, virtualized servers. 
And um, I took a screenshot of this one because uh, this, was, this one was particularly interesting. It's mem test. Uh, so I didn't know you could uh, BNC into a mem test, but I guess you can. And finally, it's take a look at France. Yeah, well, there's nothing interesting there. So, um, about the software I used, um, I can probably show it to you, actually. Uh, yeah, well, okay. Um, I, can, I can send you a link later. If you, can, if you, uh, if you see me afterwards, uh, I'll give you a link to this. But basically, it's just the, um, the source code for um, after, you get the, after you get the list of IP addresses that respond to port 5900, you um, use the script to take a, take a screenshot of every um, unauthenticated server. So, yeah. Uh, so if there are any questions, just let me know. Um, well, I didn't do any, um, any like actual science type thing, but I did find lots of Windows Server um, 2008, I think. There were lots and lots of them. Uh, I didn't know there were so many, but uh, apparently they are. Uh, that's why, I mean, that's why I said before that I think um, there must be some kind of default configuration that uh, makes them vulnerable to this kind of stuff because uh, there's just an unreasonable amount of Windows um, Server 2008 on the internet. Yeah, so that's all. Yeah? How, uh, I was wondering how, how much of those servers were rebuilt? How much of? How much of those servers were in rebuild mode? Uh, they were, how much of these servers were? Read-only mode. Ah, read-only. Uh, read I, don't think, I don't think many of them were um, read-only. Well, I mean, I have no proof of these, but I mean, I would expect that if someone sets up uh, a VNC server, it's probably uh, yeah. do remotely control it. So, you know. Uh, okay. Any other questions? Yep. Uh, are you just doing this uh, for your? I'm sorry, that's for your part. Are you doing this for your own interest, or this information is being public by IP addresses that have? Oh no no definitely yeah. not um, definitely for my interest. Um, okay. I th I mean I I'm not a lawyer or anything, but uh, I'm pretty sure publishing a list of IP addresses with uh, VNC ports uh, open would probably be highly illegal. <laughs> but yeah, I mean you can do it your own. That's that's the thing. That's the whole point of this talk that you can do this kind of research on on your own and replicate my results and other people's results. <laughs>